Hey friends, welcome back. Last time we worked on a fun example where we reversed the text entered by the user. It was a great way to see how Gradio handles simple inputs and outputs. Now let's move on to something a bit different. This time, instead of working with text, we'll use a slider. The idea is simple. You pick a number and the app calculates its square. Let's check it out. All right, now let's talk about the change we made to the function. In our previous example, the function we used was for reversing text. It took the text input and reversed it, but now we're doing something different. We've changed the function to work with numbers instead of text. So instead of reversing the text, our new function now calculates the square of a number. This means that instead of manipulating text, we're performing a mathematical operation on a number. Pretty simple, but it completely changes what the app does. Now, let's talk about the next change we made. First, we updated the function to use our new one that calculates the square of a number. So instead of using reverse text, we're now using square number in our app. Then we made another change to the interface. We replaced the input with a slider, which lets the user pick a number between zero and 100. The slider is a more interactive way to let the user choose a number. Let me explain each part of this slider in detail. Minimum equals zero. This sets the minimum value the user can select. In this case, the user can't select a number smaller than zero. Maximum equals 100. This sets the maximum value the user can select. So the highest number the user can choose is 100. This defines the increment between each value the user can select. Here, the user can pick any number between 0 and 100 in steps of 1. That means they can choose 0, 1, 2, and so on up to 100. For the output, instead of showing text, we're displaying a number that shows the result of squaring the, squaring the selected number. So we've updated both the function and the interface to make this app about numbers and calculations rather than text. Let's see how it all works together. Great. It's a fun way to work with numbers using Gradio's interactive features. Thanks for following along, and I hope you found this example helpful. Stay tuned for more, and see you in the next video.